Welcome back YouTube and today I'm going to tell you how you, yes, how you can get approved for high limit credit cards. This does not take a rocket scientist. This does not take you paying someone 10% or 20 or 30% of what you get approved for and um and losing out on money just by trying to have access no all this takes is you sitting down and simply watching this video so that you're able to do this yourself so all right the first thing that you want to do if you want to get approved for high limit credit cards you cannot go crazy with this so i don't recommend doing more than three at once so what i usually tell people is try and do two credit unions and a bank or one credit union and a bank open up bank accounts with credit unions it's great because usually you put five dollars in no monthly fee no annual fee you know no real fees to worry about um put that five dollars in open those accounts up and start building those relationships with the banks from the beginning now, once you have your accounts open, the next thing you want to do is have some source of taxable income, because in order to get approved for high limits, the banks are going to want to see that you're making money. So if you're not making money, it's going to make it hard for you to be able to get approved for high limits. I've seen it happen, but it isn't as easy as you'd like it to be. Um, so then the next thing is to have a revolving trade line and an installment loan on your credit. Now, what I personally recommend is trying to get bank issued or credit union issued revolving lines and secured loans. So if you're able to get into good credit unions, you're able to get into a good bank go ahead and set up their secured products if they offer them if you're with a bank like chase that doesn't offer them then go to a credit union or another bank and set up your products with them and let these accounts sit and age you want them to age for a minimum of three months the ideal period is going to be between six and 12 months because it's going to allow your account to sit long enough for the banks to want to fund you. And it's going to allow you some time to learn about credit, use your credit products and see how you can manage your own credit. Now, once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to research the cards that you're applying for look at the limits on those cards and check out different places that are offering high limit cards so maybe you want to look at um secu maybe you want to look at navy federal um you know maybe you want to look at alliant um state department check out different credit unions see which ones fit you and your likings and your needs the best and once you find those particular ones look at their top tier cards check out their flagship cards check out their visa signature cards their world master cards and if they offer an american express card check those cards out find the benefits that work best for you but mainly try to apply for their top tier cards reason being when you apply for top tier cards they typically give you higher limits so if you go and you apply for a visa signature visa signature card or world master card what's actually going to happen is you apply for these cards and they're going to in turn give you a minimum limit of five thousand dollars but not just that you're also going to be continuing to build your relationship with these banks once you get those minimum limits you want to spend off of these cards and pay them back um show the bank that you can manage them properly and then every three to six months request a credit limit increase 
once you start doing that, you're going to start seeing your scores go up and you're going to see huge increases in your limits. So once again, it's a very simple process. Um, if you have to rewatch this video, rewatch it, take notes. I can tell you if you follow this process to the T and you have a clean credit report, you will not have any issues with getting cards five, ten, twenty thousand dollars out of this method. Also, bonus tip do not make large purchases on your credit until you get high limits. As once you start making large purchases, it's going to start bringing down the limits that you can get approved for on your cards. So, as always, you guys, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being a part of the YouTube family. And we appreciate you guys. And we'll see you all in the next video.